So as suggested, let's follow this process and see how it helps us sort the cue balls. So we compare the first two cue balls in the bin. Now 2 is less than 10. So we swap them using the extra bin provided. Then we move to the right by 1 bin. So we compare 10 and 8. Well, 8 is smaller than 10. So we do the swap. Then we move to the right by 1 bin again. And we keep doing that. Until we reach the last bin. And now if you notice the ball having the largest number is in the rightmost bin. Isn't it? And this should have been because every time we compare the ball with the larger number moved to the right. So this way of sorting is known as the bubble sort algorithm. Because in each pass the largest number kind of bubbles to one side. So we can keep a pointer here or a stick to keep track of the sorted part. Because the largest number has reached the rightmost pin, we can consider that part as sorted, right? Now we again start from the leftmost pin and compare the adjacent balls in the first and second bins. Now 8 is greater than 2, so we don't do anything, alright? We don't need to swap the balls now. And we just move to the right by one bin. Now we compare 8 and 6. And 8 is greater than 6, so we do the swapping. And we keep repeating this process until we reach the last bin of the unsorted part. Now we don't need to consider the last bin containing the ball with number 10 because that is already the largest. So now the second largest number 8 is at the second last position. So we can move our pointer here to keep track of the sorted part. And we keep repeating this process over and over until all the cue balls are sorted. Which means that the pointer has come to the first position. So this was the bubble sort algorithm in action that you just saw.